be here, kid. You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes after or what came before. You just gotta bend your knees, take a deep breath, and jump. And you might think, what if I fall? Well, what if you don't? What if you fly? Perfect. You see here, kid? sorry and the radiator guard grill cover I got these off of Amazon uh, the MT-10 originally did not come with the uh, radiator guard it did come with an oil cooler the oil cooler was relatively cheap I didn't like it very much because it didn't protect the sides of the radiator or, sorry the oil cooler it also didn't match very well with the rest of the bike if you want to get picky about it. But overall, uh, I've been riding with it for a couple of days now. I thoroughly enjoy it and I think it's something that if you have an MT-10, you should seriously consider doing yourself. There, Because it's a naked bike, you have a lot of exposed components and parts all over the place. So you should really consider protecting the parts of your bike that are most exposed, starting with the oil cooler and the radiator itself right behind this front wheel. I mean, I don't think the radiator itself is at risk of getting rocks, but the oil cooler for sure is, which is why that came with a protective cover off the start. Um, but I didn't think that was good enough myself. Uh, the standard stock one doesn't cover this actual part here. And this is nice, it covers the whole thing. I like it that it's black, it looks real good on the bike. It blends a little bit better than it did before overall it was easy to install you can do this yourself i recommend it it was about i think 50 bucks 60 bucks i'm not sure i'll post the information in the link in case you're interested in doing it yourself and getting one i'd recommend it just keeps your bike safe your cooling is an important part of keeping your motorcycle running and operable and uh, it looks nice it looks good cheap easy mod to do highly recommend it the next mod mini mod that i'm doing for the bike is going to be frame sliders i believe they mount there and then a comfort seat because the seat despite being all right is not comfortable for longer distance so those are the two of the next mods i'm going to do i'd also like to do mirrors uh hmm Maybe some kind of protective coverings for these. 
another front fairing. I've seen a few that come up a little bit higher. The wind on this bike is pretty bad. Definitely doesn't keep you protected from the wind. And uh, the big one, the real big one I'm gonna be doing is the exhaust. I've yet to decide if I'm gonna do full exhaust or just half, I think I'm gonna do full. We shall see down the road. Well, yeah, that's my first official little modification to my baby. Radiator protector and oil cooler guard. Highly recommend them. I think everybody should have them. I personally don't understand why bikes don't have these radiator guards just off the cuff. One of the interesting things I wasn't too sure about got the radiator guard was whether or not it would have any sort of effect on the cooling of the bike. I didn't think it would have a big effect, but you never know. So far I've noticed there's been no problem. So that's kind of nice. Recommend you get one if you got an MT-10. I'll post a link to this one in the description. You can get it on Amazon. Thanks for watching.